They say the Romans built roads everywhere, but they also brought the water with them. Literally. Roman aqueducts weren't magic. They were pure, brilliant engineering. No pumps, no modern tools. Just stone, gravity, and math. Imagine building a water highway over mountains, and the road has to tilt less than a fingernail per meter. That's how precise Roman engineers were. They mastered gradients, keeping water flowing gently over hundreds of kilometers. Made from stone, brick, and concrete, Roman aqueducts carried fresh water from distant springs straight to thirsty cities. Some ran underground, others stretched across massive valleys on towering stone arches. The Aqua Claudia in Rome over 69 kilometers long, and parts of it still stand today. That's not luck, that's Roman craftsmanship. They used a tool called a curabate, a wooden bench with a water trough to measure slope. No lasers, no GPS, just genius. Even earthquakes couldn't easily bring them down. Engineers built expansion joints and drainage systems right into the arches. They thought of everything. Water didn't just flow into homes. It powered public baths, fountains, and even toilets. Rome alone had 11 aqueducts, moving over 300 million gallons daily. And the secret? Gravity and ruthless attention to detail. No pumps. Just perfect planning. 2,000 years later, we're still studying Roman aqueducts in engineering schools. Proof that great design never goes out of style. Like this video if you're amazed by ancient engineering and subscribe for more untold stories of human genius.